CXC January 2019, we are still on the paper one. So we are proceeding from question 41. Items 41 refers to item 41 to 42 refers to the following chart which shows the number of books of 58 students bought at Now the question is how many students bought exactly four books? How many students bought exactly four books? So to, these are the number of students. So you look for this is the number of books bought and this is the number of students. So you look for exactly four books here and trace it up and that will correspond to this and the height of this rectangle is nine so the this is the tracing i did over here so this corresponds to nine therefore the correct answer will be equal to option b then now let us proceed with the 42 the median number of books bought by the student is so we can quickly deduce some kind of table from this this number of books number of books here three four five six seven eight as we can see then we have the frequency as we can see the frequencies are eight nine thirteen then eleven then we have ten and then we have seven now let us see how we can calculate the median from this graph so the median from the graph will give us this you know half sigma f value so the total frequency we add it to get 58 half of that value is the 29th score so when we add from the right add from the left 8 plus 9 will give you 17 plus 13 which is 30 so that corresponds to this I correspond to this then if you add from the right to you get this the other method of doing it but this is how you can also go about it so all, all of them are telling you that you know if you add this you get 17 you get um, 28 and the 30th the 29th value is falling here all of them are telling you that the median number is 5 therefore the correct answer is A now let's look at this one item 43 to 44 refers to the following diagram which shows the cumulative frequency polygon of the lengths in meters of 20 fish that were bought by two fishermen so we are supposed to find a semi intercotal range of the fish a semi intercotal range is the intercotal range divided by two so we need to find the first quarter and the third quarter after that we subtract them to get the intercotal range then we divide by two to get the semi intercotal range so this is how we find the first quarter and the third quarter the total frequency is total frequency is 20 so the fourth of that will give you the of that value will correspond to the third quarter and one fourth of that value will correspond to the first quarter so we do that to get the 15 value so we we trace the 15 value on the graph and it will correspond to 3.7 so this is the third quarter then we trace the fifth value on the graph it will correspond to 1.2 and we subtract you get 
2.5. Half of 2.5 is 1.25. Therefore, the semi intercortical range is 1.25. What about the probability that a fish selected at random is at least 1.8 meter long? So, 1.8 meter long, you trace 1.8 from the graph here. So, when you trace 1.8, this is the length, trace it on the length axis and it will correspond to this and you know this will correspond to 8 because each box is 0 0.5 so this will give you 8 so because this is 8 at least 1.8 meters will correspond to above 8 and that will give you since it is 20 the complement of 8 in this case will be 12 so 12 over the total will give you the probability so the probability is 12 over 20. now we proceed to 43 item 45 item 45 refers to the following arrow diagram so we know 2 is a factor of 8 of 10 2 is a factor of 8 then 3 is a factor of 9 4 is a factor of 8 so that will be the rule. The arrow relation diagram above describes the relation x is a factor of y. x is a factor of y. Now let's proceed to the item 46. Which of the following, which of the following line graphs represent this inequality over here? So you know that because there's no equal sign attached to this inequality the boundary here is open and because there's an equality attached to this the boundary here will be closed so close on four close on four close on four then open at negative two it's not open here but it's open here so close at four open at negative two therefore the correct answer will be this one Now we have this which of the following graphs represent a function. We know for a graph to be a function, it must pass the vertical line test. Draw a vertical line anywhere on the graph and it must go through only one point. If it goes through more than one point at any point on the graph, then it is not a function. So let's do that test and see. When we draw a line across, you know that anywhere on this line to pass through the the point only once but look at this one they failed and the correct answer is option a now look at 48 which of the following point lies on the line y equal 2x minus 3 if a point lies on this this line then the point might satisfy the equation of the line so what we need to do is that we can take these first values and plug it into the the function and see which one, which of them will give you the correct y value. So we do that and you realize that when you substitute two, you will get one. But this is not one, so it's out. When you substitute negative two, you will get negative seven. This is not negative seven, it's out. You substitute four, you get you substitute four, you get five. This is not five, so it's out. If you substitute zero you get negative 3. So the negative 3 corresponds to this. So this is the correct answer. 49. If f of x equal 2x squared minus 1, then f of negative 3 is equal to what? So we just plug in negative 3 in place of x to get this. So we substitute negative 3 here. Wherever we see x, you replace with negative 3. So that will give you 2 times negative 3 squared minus 1. And that will give you 2 times 9. Know that negative times negative becomes positive. 3 times 3 becomes 9. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 minus 1 will give you negatives, will give you 17. So the correct answer is C. Now we have this. This also was repeated in the January in the May 2019 paper we are supposed to find a maximum point on this graph the maximum point is the vectors here so the coordinate of this vector is 2 4 
there for the quiet answer is seen.